Have you heard of global entry? And if you have, do you understand the differences between TSA Preject and Global Entry? And so if not, in this week's video, we're gonna walk you through step-by-step step the similarities and differences between the two programs. And at the end of the video, we're gonna give you our recommendation on which program is right for you. So first off, let's talk TSA Preject. So with TSA Preject, you get the expedited process screening through the security line. This also allows you to not only zip through security quicker, it allows you to keep your shoes on, as well as keeping your laptops and tablets inside your bag, which can be very helpful. What is Global Entry? So Global Entry is an expedited process through the US Customs when returning back from an international flight. However, it should be noted that with Global Entry, you also receive all the same privileges that you would with TSA PreCheck. So then you're probably asking, well then why would I do TSA PreCheck over Global Entry? Well, let's get into some of the similarities and differences. So first off, let's talk about the price difference because there is a difference between the two programs. First off, TSA PreCheck costs $85 for a five year period, whereas Global Entry costs $15 more at $100 for that same five year period. And so both of these programs, it should be noted, they have the same application process. Different fields, obviously, but same process. That process entails an online application followed by a scheduled in-person interview with a member of the agency to go through all your credentials to make sure that you're okay to fly. But so you must be thinking, well, if Global Entry is only $15 more and gets me the same privileges as TSA PreCheck for the most part, as well as the US border expedited process, why would I ever go TSA PreCheck? Well, one of the big differences you should note is that with TSA PreCheck, if you as a qualifying adult or guardian are traveling with anyone under the age of 12, those children also are granted the right of TSA PreCheck along with you. However, with Global Entry, each member going through the TSA screening or through the custom screenings has to be a member of that program, regardless of age. So after understanding the subtle similarities and differences between the two programs, which one would we recommend? So when we're talking about which one we would recommend for you, it typically depends on your scenario. So we personally all have global entry because we fly internationally quite frequently, and this works best for our family and for our traveling lifestyle. So if you plan on doing frequent international travel, or really any international travel within the next five years, and you don't have kids under the age of 12, we would strongly recommend checking out Global Entry as an option for you or even the family. However, if you are planning to do only domestic travel in the next five years and or you have several kids under the age of 12, TSA PreCheck may be the best option for you to make sense to save a bit of money throughout that process. So really the decision is up to you on the main differences between wanting the custom expedited process with Global Entry or just getting through security and helping your family do so in a quick, timely fashion. But at the end of the day, whether you're Global Entry or TSA PreCheck, the name of the game is cutting through the lines as quick as possible. Because whether we're traveling to or coming back from a trip, you just want to get to your final destination and you don't want to be stuck in the airport for longer than you have to. So there you have it, Global Entry versus TSA PreCheck. Both great programs to help cut out time wasted through either security line or customs lines. And so hopefully you found this video informative. And if you did, please consider giving that a big thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button down below, or even consider sharing this with a friend. Because after all, life's an adventure. Who are you going on it with?